Let's see, he said Overlord out to scout here. Let's go on the chairman side of the board. Nothing, nothing really. Just set up a barracks there. Zerg is. down and he does not lose his Zergling. What's going on here? Uh, his factory is nearing completion. He has two marines out here to guard. And has an engineer fail, um, as we saw earlier. He has one SCP floating around. Oh, it's like that one. Let's go. Oh, and uh, Lou is bringing the Zerglings around. Ah, uh, Metabolic Juice just finished. Oh, and he shoots down those Zerglings. But not after losing Murray himself, and so... What's going back home? He has completed a Roach Warren, and his spotted an Overlord. Quite a lot of supply. Has some Hellions set up. Or against Zerglings, at least. And he is making a And he is uh, now producing going up the lair. And the Terran player in red, again, is setting up upgrades. And our Mr. Double Sheep here on the left side of the map seems to be not really upgrading his troops, but we'll see if that book comes in later. It's just destroying this for no given reason. And he sets an escort force of three Hellions. Out of the Overlord. The aliens are down and all the uh, roaches survive. Well played by more marines being set up here. Uh, tech lab being built on the factory and a bunker being there for defense. 
surprisingly, blue has uh, blue is going for his natural. Now it's a bit late for that, but he's sending a force of four zerglings and a roach across the map. Oh, uh, combined with his previous force, I assume he'll do a little bit of harassing with them. And uh, red, the Terran player here, seems to be researching more, creating a liberator. And seems to be very high on minerals. This approach scurries in. He is currently right out of. He gets the kill on an SCP. Oh, and the Liberator comes down to the fence. Evacuate some roaches. Micro with morale. Oh, he's creating another of 15 health. Uh, he is currently uh, building his natural Terran areas. And he's trying to get the natural reserves just finished right now. Is slowly withering away at the Liberator's health. This is corrosive vile. Raptor. Oh, that one's, that one's missed. And currently, this factory is pumping out aliens. And, oh, that's another miss by me. Uh, there's a big squad of marauders out there. Barracks. And set out three hydralisks. He's made a hydralisk den and it is researching attack. And he's made a spire. This is the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. Disintegrates. Does. And this factor is still building millions, and the marauders are still in trade. This bunker having more marines. Uh, he turns out a marauder to check. Oh, oh, those roaches are just in range of the Liberator. Two reps. Ravagers being morphed by the blue earth play. And Viking goes down and also to do it to Elliot's. Morphing Ravager on the field. And yes, Utilism is coming to play, destroy the Liberator. Placed a queen here. This worker line. And he is healing his worker and currently training more marines and aliens to make up for the losses and Vikings as well. He seems to be a bit oversaturated on minerals. Uh, no, sent back. Seems it's planetary. And another aggressive push with mutalisks by Zerg out here. We're about halfway through the game. Uh, currently on the uh, blue side, nothing's being produced. Let's take a look at the APM. Sorry. Oh, and a failed excursion there. Another bunker being built. Uh, that's a good plan. Given that these are some very strong pushes by double sheep. Well, 
almost third base has been taken yet. Uh, a siege tank being built. Um, like, you know, uh, yes, he appears to be uh, sending in more marauders. And more mutilisks are being built and an infestation pit, presumably for a hive. It's built a fusion core, so he may build some battle cores, which is interesting. Active forces. He's got a purely mutilisk based army. And it appears he's making a corrupter and an infester. These. Oh, this should be good. Apparently, his overlords are. He's made a corrupter. Which. Should be to attack his Vikings, which he can already take care of, really. Karak. And the Mutalisks coming in. Oh, Micro's around. Takes out three takes out two workers. Taking out more workers and one of the Vikings. Oh, now it's only at one out of six. Sixteen. And he has almost completely destroyed the economy of this natural. Takes out another. He is apparently. Oh, there, uh, there appears a battle I wish he skirts around. He dodges the battle really quickly. Uh, currently, he's building some Thors to counter the Lisks, and is attempting to rebuild his lost And the economy of Zerg's natural still is not looking very good. More mutalisks being created. And he's completely stocked his bunkers, and one of the Thors comes out. He is still, he's the uh, four workers at his own. Oh no, I'm going on. Is natural, so that harassment really uh, dug a deep blow for Terran. And a force, one infester, corruptor, and a whole bunch of mutalisks is currently rounding about the same way they did that fateful incursion. He's currently regrouping his forces. Oh, he's taking heavy losses here. Oh, but he eventually does destroy the battle. His infester has been down, so a majority of his mutalisks. And a banshee being built in several mutalisks there. Another siege tank. Uh huh. Red has not made any pushes since the beginning of the early game. And blue seems to be playing very aggressively. And the game is nearing the end game. These Vespian exhausted. Vespian geysers have been exhausted. And they are working on creating the natural. A whole lot earlier.
he is banking up minerals. I think with these masked up mutilisks, he is preparing to make one final strike. And his Vespi production is now back up, but Neutalisks are very heavy in Vespi, so it will be a, a bit of time before his army really fully comes back. And if we look at production, another Thor and a Barracks being built. It appears he's conquering up for that one final push, but he's putting out siege tanks when it's been known that... Another banshee set here to commit. It really doesn't make sense to be honest. They're ground only? Oh, the push is happening? And he does lose the corruptor. Am I going them around? Oh! He's going, for the... He's going for the main base! Attacking that command center. Spreading that. Killing what's left of his opponent. While a door slowly chips away. It is hell. Attacking his best being mine. This main line is now gone. I'm trying to attack a CV that has been responsible for most of the games he's by. Has lost a few forces, as we can see. Plus six supply. Should be about three mutilisks. And now he is suffering greatly. He has almost no economy on this. Uh, he has appeared to have recovered. And he is currently attacking a rock in some spare time. Zerg fire attacks, level 1 being upgraded, and a battle made to increase his defense. More troops flying in. His defense seems to be very strong. Can it hold the wrath of the Mutalisk? Fighting them, fighting the Marines. Dissent. Economy on his main base is now completely dead. As with no loses still alive, that is converted to his natural, as has the other player. This man. Generation, which I think it was, as we can see it here, that they have faster regeneration. And the armor, uh, the weapon upgrade is done. He is now working on fire upgrades and is preparing to get to uh, weapons level 2. Some 
more. That's being built. Now, this squad of mutalisks almost entirely. With a supplement of the more forces. Blown in. Oh, and appears to be the. Very close to its end. Like there? Just arrived where the computers Victorious. 